My name is Donna Longlad, and I am, have been nominated to stand for in the position of chief, and I have accepted that nomination mainly because I feel that there is a lot of issues that need to be looked at for not only the people who live in the community on reserve, but for the off-reserve people too, because they're not being, like us, they're not being notified of anything that's going on in our community. We can see what's going on, but we're, we don't know the bottom line of it. Where is it coming from? Where is the money coming from? And, and it's a big concern. Um, I'm happy that our community in particular has stayed healthy and the surrounding communities through this COVID time. Um, and that in itself is a, a gift to the people that they have stayed and remain healthy. Um, I'm going to jump around to a few things because today we've had a fire in the community and that brings us to an issue of our water supply. This has been an ongoing concern for the community when we're surrounded by water and yet we do not have a water tower or a sufficient source of water to supply the community, to supply new homes, to be more operative in a good way. Um, I know that there's been some new houses that have been built. I went and looked at the new new holes that they've dug for three future homes and each one is full of water. So w why are we digging holes when we should be using the land base as it is not trying to make it into something that is always going to be an ongoing issue. If the water level is high in the community, the groundwater level, it's not suitable for wells, but the ground level water is so high that we shouldn't be building homes and digging for them. They need to be built more on slabs or something that will accommodate these houses and keep them dry. Um, I know I've heard, I haven't seen it, but in the new three new triplex buildings that there is already a crack in the basement wall. That is a concern when it when they've only just moved into them. There shouldn't be a crack in the wall. And it's going to promote further issues of mold. And there are young families that are in those homes. 